Hi everyone, this is my Say It video for Module 4. So I think that the video we watched on obesity related health campaigns was really interesting and um, I think it's amazing that some of those campaigns would even be out there. I think our culture assumes that shame is a good motivator, but like the video talked about, that's not actually true. So that reminds me of uh, Brene Brown's research, um, how she has done a lot of research sort of uh, illustrating how unhelpful shame is. Um, so I think they can be, obesity campaigns in general could be helpful or harmful depending on the nature of the campaign and the content. Um, I think it also depends a lot on the person who is interested or or uh, maybe needs the campaign. Um, like in the lecture, we talked about social cognitive theory and self-efficacy, so I think that plays a huge role in whether or not the campaign is helpful. Um, in response to this prompt, I also thought about work that I'm doing for the Office of Public Health Studies on the DPP, the Diabetes Prevention Program. So um, these are things that need to be considered when implementing a diabetes intervention because although obesity doesn't necessarily equal diabetes and diabetes doesn't equal obesity, they are um, correlated. And so I was reading, doing some landscaping research and reading the American Medical Association's handbook on how to implement the diabetes prevention program in the workplace. And it said that a lot of companies who have implemented the program in their workplace already have found that um, the more they included the word diabetes in the title of the program, the less likely people were to sign up. One, because people would see, the DPP is for pre-diabetic people, so people whose glucose levels reach a certain threshold that's not quite up to diabetes, but they're on their way. So seeing the word diabetes was one, because they would say, oh, I don't have to worry about that, but also I think there's a negative connotation. So I thought that was really interesting that they suggested, the American Medical Association suggested that people use words like uh, improve healthy lifestyle or you know more positive connotation words rather than diabetes. And I think the same can probably say, be said for um, obesity. Thank you.